Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today's topic is a problem number 4 which is based on residue theorem. This topic basically is quite small. It is not lengthier compared to the ROC topic. So first of all we will study the question and then we will move on to solution. A problem number 4. Find the inverse z transform of a function but using a residue theorem. Here the x of z is given 1 upon 1 minus 1.5 z inverse plus 0.5 z to the power minus 2. It is little bit similar to partial fraction. But one thing that we are going to multiply on both the side which is z to the power n minus 1. And then we will move to partial fraction. So first of all we will multiply both the sides by z to the power n minus 1. So what you will get? This x of z is multiplied with this and this one will be multiplied with this. Now the residue theorem or the numericals related to the residue theorem always requires a positive order or positive power of z and here we have a negative power of z so make it positive. How you are going to make it positive? Just simply multiply numerator and denominator by z to the power plus 2 so that automatically all this denominator negative value will change to plus. one into z to the power 2 becomes z to the power 2 then z into minus 1 into z square the bases are same so orders always gets added so 2 minus 1 answer is 1 and at the end we have z to the power minus 1 we are multiplying with z to the power 2 so bases are same so powers gets added 2 minus 2 answer is 0 so we will get z to the power 0 and z to the power 0 is always 1. So we have only 0.5. Now next one. Look at here. The order we have in the numerator z to the power 2 and the next part z to the power n minus 1. So we can split or simply you can add this power with n minus 1 because the bases are same. What we will get? n minus 1 plus 2. This 2 minus 1 will give us a plus 1 and in denominator we have z square minus 1.5z plus 0.5. So we will factorize this whole equation. What you will get? Let's see. So the factors are z equal to minus 0.5 and z equals to minus 1. So look at here. If I multiply minus 0.5 with minus 1, answer is plus 0.5 because 0.5 into 1 is 0.5 but minus minus will give us a plus. But look at it, here we have minus of 1.5. So these two values will carry the same sign so that this will get added and we will get the 1.5 but having minus sign. Now we will use a residue theorem. residue of x of z into z to the power minus 1 but at z equals to 0.5 that we are going to calculate. So simply do one thing. We will multiply z minus 0.5 with this whole x of z into z to the power minus n. And I will substitute z equals to 0.5. So we have calculated this value which was so look at here these two value will get cancelled and then simply substitute z equals to 0.5 in numerator as well as in denominator also so what you will get we can split these orders like And 0.5 minus 1 answer is minus 0.5. So 
So look at here. This 0.5, this 0.5 will get cancelled. And the answer is minus of 0.5 raised to n. So the residue of x of z into z to the power minus 1 at z equals to 0.5 is minus of 0.5 raised to n. Now we will do the same thing but this will be now 1 and this will be also replaced by z minus 1. Now, we will calculate the residue but at z equals to 1. I have multiplied z to the power minus 1 with x of z into z to the power n minus 1 and then after multiplying I am going to substitute z equals to plus 1. Now, I will substitute this value. So, look at here these two values will get automatically cancelled and then later on substitute z equals to 1 in this equation. So what we can write 1 raised to n plus 1 and whole divided by this z is replaced by 1 so 1 minus 0 0.5 answer is 0 0.5. So what you will get? If I shift this 0 0.5 in numerator you will get or you can write 1.5 raised to minus 1 1 raised to n plus 1 now 0.5 raised to minus 1 is basically a 2 and if I split this order then 1 raised to n into 1 to the power 1 is always 1 to the power n. So we can multiply these two by 1 to the power n and this is the result of residue of x of z into z, z raised to n minus 1 at z equals to 1. Now what is the next step? Simply add both the residue value for z equals to 1 and z equals to 0.5 with each other. So look at here, I have added the residue of x of z into z to the power minus 1 at z equals to 0.5 with residue of x of z z to the power n minus 1 at z equals to 1 and after adding what I have got this is the result and this is nothing but the inverse z transform of x of z using residue theorem. Now we are going to solve a similar type of numerical but in that we are going to add a repeated pole value because this current numerical was a simple pole and multiple pole. Now the next numerical is based on simple pole or you can say multiple pole with repeated poles. Now we will study and we will solve that same numerical but for that you have to stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.